What if it's much harder and this is the first, the person's first prep that they've ever seen. And this is the first prep that that, um, competitors ever done. What if it's just way harder and then what they expected and what do you do then? I would say in that situation, still being able to extend that grace and understanding and have a conversation. It all comes back to communication in my eyes of, hey, is this what we both want to do right now? Is this serving us both? And is this where we're going with this as well as what happens next? I think having those touch points of, I know you and I have touch points of, hey, I really need this from you right now because this is getting to this point. And I would really need this from you to be able to be successful because I'll say for this prep, we didn't expect a lot of the things that have popped up within life and work and just the demand that has been expected out of both of us. That wasn't necessarily the fullest understanding when we went into this prep whatsoever. And so that's something that we've had to navigate. So how would you say that we've gone through that? Um, well, before we get into us, I think that, um, one thing that I will express that the individual is like, this is harder than I would have imagined it to be, which is probably going to happen. Honestly, if they've never been around competing in general, it's probably going to be harder to, uh, sit on the sidelines and, and be the cheerleader and those different factors. Um, so I would have that conversation and focus on finding, etching out more time for you guys to spend more quality time together. And when we speak on quality time, I think that that is oftentimes a big solution to all of this of like mm -hmm. getting to have that quality time because they feel as though that they're being uh, deprioritized to the prep them themselves or itself. And so I think that that's an important piece of etching out time in your schedule and you can make it work. I, I, I know that your schedule is already crazy, but the reality is, is that you can find an extra hour. You can find an extra... I mean, 30 minutes at, at, at the bare minimum throughout your day to make your uh, significant other feel special and spend time with them as a, as a whole, um, because you can be more efficient with your time always. So yeah. that's the, the one piece that I will say there.